about her is so oh, 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 Everything about you is so oh, 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 Hey guys, what's going on? This is Gus Mambro and today I'm going to be showing you guys a really cheap alternative to the rubber ducky. If you don't know what the rubber ducky is, it's a thing that Hack5 made and it basically allows you to run scripts um, from like a keyboard almost. So anything you can type in on a keyboard, you can run it super fast with one of these USB rubber duckies from Hack5. Only most people, but they don't have them because they're 50 bucks. They, um, you can see it's super popular. It's back, back ordered right now. Um, I know a ton of people that have these. It's super popular on the internet. There's a ton of scripts for it. They're just a really cool device. But um, this person named Satonic, I'll link his video to this in the description. Um, he found this one basically on Arduino. And it lets you, like it does the same thing as a rubber ducky. Um, you can run rubber ducky scripts on this Arduino. And it only costs eight bucks with, if you have Prime, it's free shipping. And yeah, that's all you guys need. You just have to buy this and then download the software and you guys will have your own rubber ducky. It's actually really, really easy to program. Um, if you, you guys don't have to have any programming knowledge, maybe a little bit would help, but really to get started, you don't have to have any. So go ahead and download this program, Arduino IDE. This is official stuff from Arduino. Also, you guys will need a micro USB cable because it does interface with one and you won't need a SD card or anything like that, like what this has, which that's kind of a downside, but I will show you guys an alternative to that later. So once you have downloaded and installed the Arduino firmware, little driver thing, to go ahead and open that bad boy up. And I already was previously doing stuff. Go ahead and plug your Arduino in. Once you plug your Arduino in, go up to tools and then go ahead, port, and find it. It should be the only one. Um, mine's COM6. It depends what USB port you plugged it into. Go ahead and click your thing. And then for board, go ahead and find Arduino Genuino Micro. And it'll be right there on the list. Um, you don't have to change the program or anything else. It's all good how it is. Um, that's basically it, guys. You guys can go to this website, which is called duckduino.js. It's also Cytonic. He has it. He did not make it, but it's on his website, and it it's like the version that works the best I found. Um, so you can go ahead and go to um, Hack5 Darren's like actual thing. And I'm just going to use the simple test one, hello world. I'm just going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it into the compiler. I'm just paste it and hit compile up here and then it gives you a whole thing. You don't have to co program anything at all. Let's go ahead and copy it. And then you can paste it in here. And then all you guys have to do is hit upload. And then it'll disconnect and reconnect a couple times. I'm done uploading and then it will automatically run. See, it automatically run. And it did do what it was supposed to do. So we can have a look at this code here. Um, it says include include keyboard.h. Um, that is just the command for like running the keyboard. Then it's, as you can see, you can probably follow along pretty easy. The key, like key left to GUI is the Windows key. Then R, Windows key R opens run. Right here, I just, oh. Windows key R open to run and then it says type in notepad so Windows key R notepad and then boom um, key return enter it'll open notepad and then it'll type in hello world and then it'll stop so it's really easy to do guys um, you guys should buy this it's really cheap it's on sale right now 870 it will come before Christmas Amazon Prime that two day two day shipping my next video on this will include um, show, having a button on it because unlike the rubber ducky when you plug this in your computer it will run the script so like I'll unplug mine and then plug it back in and then it will automatically run the notepad script yep there it is so if you have like a malicious thing going on then you don't want that to happen every single time you plug it in to reprogram it so uh, there's a way to add a button on it so when you hold the button then it won't run the script and just like way easier to do than all the rubber ducky stuff that'll be in my next video i have a really nice tutorial for that and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video